If the world ends, you know, this place will still be here. And that, you know, that gives me strength. I hate when you go back and it's an old condemned and, you know, boarded up and stuff. And uh, I hope that never happens here. educated audiences I've ever played for to me was New York, Memphis, Chicago, and here in Columbus. People know what you're doing. And they, if you screw up, know that too. That Agora building, which is now the Newport Music Hall, became uh, a centerpiece for the rock and roll industry. Everybody Just in the industry morning. has gone go through, morning. whether you're an artist or a tour manager or a production manager, Suzanne through the old Lansing Agora in Columbus, Ohio. It's a famous rock club to anybody who's in the industry. So by Hank opening that and starting that uh, has, has put Columbus, Ohio kind of on the rock and roll map. I think Newport Music Hall means longevity and stability to the music industry. There are not a lot of venues that can say that they've been doing this for over 50 years now at this point. Um, it's a staple when you come to Ohio as the band, as a touring musician, you need to play Newport. Where it all began, I started my career here, uh, the company started here and I think a lot of bands started their career right here in the Newport Music Hall. So the Newport, what it means to me is opportunity. I, I came down here during freshman orientation, as many folks do, through the tour and things. And, uh, you know, I, I met actually our singer, Mark Roberge, I met him at freshman orientation at, at Ohio State. So we had gone through the day's classes or whatever we had to do that day and then ended up running around together on High Street. Uh, so I remember vividly walking down High Street, heading south towards downtown. And, and, and looking at that marquee and just thinking to myself, you know, what if one day I can do something that would put me on that stage? Uh, and funny enough, you know, it would be with Mark, which neither one of us knew that at the time. So, you know, it, it just, to me, it was just kind of this, you know, special thing where one I met this guy that ended up, you know, we ended up chasing our dreams together and we walked past and commented on the spot where we would really kind of start off a lot of those dreams and it would be the catalyst for us to go out there and get after it, uh, you know, with our lives. So uh, Newport's definitely a special one for us.